Hi, my name is Zia Barton, and this is my second run of Test 2 review. Uh, we're going to have to speed run this, sort of, because uh, my phone has low storage. So, we're going to start with, uh, we're doing acid versus acid, which one is more acidic, based on the stability of the conjugate bases. And our first one is HClO4 um, versus HCN. HCN. Now we identify our cations and anions here to determine our who donates and our conjugate base. Conjugate bases, bases here are ClO4 minus and Cn minus. Um, then we determine we have to draw the Lewis structures of each and we determine the Lewis structures based on the number of electrons in each, which we get from our periodic table. H is 1, Cl is, oh, uh, whatever it is, Cl is 7, C, uh, O is 6 times 4, this is 32 electrons. This one over here is 10 electrons, 10 electrons because H again, C is 4, N is 5, atom, 10. Um, then we draw our Lewis structure of both the acid and its conjugate base. So we'll start with ClO4, HClO4, which is O, Cl, O, 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 H. And then we draw our lone pairs and bonded secondary bonds. Two lone pairs here. This one has two lone pairs here. And we're trying to use the octet rule to satisfy them. Ooh, almost cussed. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then we determine where the H donates its uh, electron to since we're subtracting it. Not an electron. When the H is removed, we have to give the, this bond back to another one. And that'll be, of course, this one, since that's what it's attached to, you know, yada yada. So this one is fairly simple. But this bond is super strong, and then gets a little lone pair here. Now, we get our conjugates, Lewis structures. Howdy doody. <sighs> this is a nice, tedious process, so sorry, I'm, I have zero editing skills. I'm not going to speed this up in any sort of way. We're just going to very tediously write out all of this. And minus. We give our guy here a minus. And the conjugate base here is C N. Boop. Okay. And the minus is on this side. Now, we can finally actually start deciding which one is more acidic. Now we look at the one that our H donated that extra electron to. Because when that's how we make a conjugate base. We either remove a proton or add one. And here it's oxygen, here it's carbon. That's the main difference. So the size between oxygen and carbon, first we look at size, size. And you get your size from the periodic table. And oxygen is further to the left, not the left, the right, sorry, a little dyslexic, uh, which means that it's smaller because radii get smaller going to the right. So oxygen is smaller than carbon. But the size of the entire conjugate base is much larger than the size of Cn over here. So 
not really much of an impact. It's balanced out by the size of the actual conjugate base. Not much, not much difference here. So we move on to electronegativity. Um, electronegativity is also determined on your periodic table. Here's my periodic table. Which one is more electronegative? That's determined by, once again, going to the right. The further right you are, the more electronegative. And we look at the neighbors of our Lewis structure. So the neighbor here is Cl, and the neighbor here is N. But oxygen is already more electronegative than carbon, and carbon is attached to N, which is still less electronegative than oxygen, and Cl is much more electronegative than all of them. So oxygen wins, has more electronegativity than carbon. So, and there's no resonance structures because these are not made up of three atoms, so no resonance. Therefore, the stability of oxygen in ClO4 is greater than that of carbon in Cn minus, which means that the H attached to ClO4, the H attached to HClO4 is more acidic than the H attached to HCN because it's more stable due to the electronegativity difference. Okay, like I said, we're on a time crunch, so let's go. The next two are HNO2 versus HCO3, the conjugate bases of which are NO2 minus and CO3 2 minus. Um, and now we decide here what the, or we figure out here what the total electron count is, and that's 1 plus 5 plus 6 times 2, which is 18. 18 total. And this one is 1 plus 4 plus 6 times 3 plus 1 here which is 24 E minus. And now we can draw our Lewis structures. So HNO is H on this end here. Sorry, I won't focus. Focus. Or don't, whatever. O, N, O. 